Generic greetings and welcome to Construction Plus Prison Architect Alpha 25 episode 13, the last episode for this alpha, excluding any extras that we do such as the fight clubs or whatever. So in this episode we're going to be finishing off the prison, putting basically just flooring in, that's what we really need to do, there's not much else we have to do in this place. I was going to expand it along here but we just ran out of time and it does function as it is, so that's all good, that's all good. Last episode we had a bit of ultraviolence over here and sadly one of the prisoners did die, it was um, not good at all, in fact, do we have more than one death? I can't remember now, we, there was definitely a bit of ultraviolence going on and uh, yeah, we had a, another legendary prisoner, in fact, where are our legendary prisoners? I, I call them legendary, they're actually just the uh, supermax, yeah, we've only got one supermax but there was another guy that was supermax as well, but uh, yeah, he didn't last long it was um, problematic there is our one and only legendary prisoner now or at least the one that I know about there could be others and this guy here is extremely strong extremely tough etc you can see it going down there but he is also one of our one of our informants so we are keeping an eye on him what I'm just gonna do actually while I am waiting is go to deployment and then go to dog patrols and I'm gonna run a dog patrol right along there like so and then assign someone to it, or rather assign a pooch to it, and then we're going to run one up like that as well, and assign another one. Is that right next to it? No, that is incorrect, actually. Cancel that, and then put one back there, and then join it back up, and then finally we want one going along there, and I'm just hoping we don't get that stupid sound bug. There we go, and put that in. I'm just going to go to staff, and then to our dog handlers and hire another three more because I've assigned three and I want one spare so yes that should do it quite nicely so the reason I've done that is just to detect tunnels I haven't bothered searching for them around this way because if they have to tunnel here and out that way then you know I don't think there's gonna be much of a problem but it means that dogs can actually sniff along here and maybe even get them but also it means that if someone's patrolling along here as well as this bit here then we can see any prisoners going and being it might be a bit shady basically that's what we're going to do we did a full search in the last episode and we found a lot of contraband which is why we've got several prisoners sitting around solitary here let's have a quick look and this guy is an instigator yes we're going to recruit informant basically if we can recruit the informants we're going to get a lot more informants so Go down each one of them here and see. Oh, there's some cigarettes. That guy's on the pharmacological drug treatment, and his success chance is actually nearly half, so that is actually quite good. Again, recruiting more informants here. Although that guy there, that is our other, our other protective custody prisoner, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Dan Wigstaff. So I really don't want to be activating him. Just every time, you know, just straight away. I don't really want to be activating him straight away just because he might get hurt. In fact, what, why, why is he that? Why is he protective custody anyway? I think it's because he's a cop killer. Yeah, he's a cop killer. So that's going to be problematic. Anyway, we've just got a lot more CIs. If I just go to my my contraband and then to CIs, you can see how many we've got now. And there's a bit of suspicion on all of them. And it's already kicking off over here. Good grief! What's happening here? Good grief, why is that guy booting off? I have no idea. Character? Hasn't got any reputation that we know about. <laughs> and we are knocking him out. What? Why the hell has he been doing that? Can't believe he's knocked a dog out. He's knocked canine unit out as well. There we go, we've just picked it up and I'm gonna I wonder where they take that canine unit. Will they take it to the vets? We don't have a vet clinic, do we? I wonder I'm not gonna take it to the infirmary. I'm guessing he's gonna put it in the put it in the uh, the kennel over the other side there and just let it sit about and, you know, recover and peel its own bones or whatever it does. Dogs are obviously super human, right? No, they're actually super dogs. Super dogs? Super human? Dogs? Super... I, I don't know. What will be? What will be the superhuman variant of a... It would be super dog, wouldn't it? It would just be super pooch. Or super canine. Super mull? Super animal? Oh, for God's sake. Right, there we go. There's another prisoner fighting away here. Um, looks like we've got a... Taser coming in here. There we go, and we've tased him. Why was he booting off? I'm guessing just because I don't know. He's been run, obviously going around here, kicking the crap out of all this, and I haven't even noticed. I've been too busy up the top left, uh, trying to sort everything out with that other guy. And this this guy's going around the shower, beating everything up. That's interesting one. That's an interesting one. Anyway, we're not even getting any construction done. I'm just waiting. This is the one. Well, this is one of the cell blocks that I furnished and put in all the floors. As you can see, it's 
It's actually quite all right. I like the way it looks. So we're going to follow that same style. So let's just go to materials and then to our concrete floor. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to put in full concrete floor like that. It's just easier to do the full lot and then we can put in the details later. So we're going to go up here and do the same thing all the way along like so. There we go. And this one is going to be slightly different. We're going to do... Same sort of flooring, like so, but these areas on other, uh, like either side are going to be slightly different. We'll do that, and then we'll do that. There we go. You know, that guy's getting taken back to protective custody. Oh, well, I say protective custody inside the very, very, very high-risk cell block there as he comes in. I really do like the high risk stuff. I, I like the managing the prisons bit. And what I'm going to do for my next prison, whatever that is, I don't know whether I'm going to do an Alpha 26 series or not because it's n it's nothing adding anything new. It's it's just um, update. It's, it's just like bug fixes and such, which is always good, but I don't know whether I'm going to do a series on it. But my next prison that I'm going to do, I think I'm not going to have it very large. In fact, this is obviously a, a small map, and I tend to use small maps. So it was either going to be do a very large map or a medium or above, you understand, or keep it small but have a very, very tight prison as in we'll only have maybe 20 or so prisoners and all of them will be high risk or supermax that's all we'll go for well high risk supermax or protective custody that's all we'll have and then we'll have separate wings for each one of these and we'll really go full on for the splitting them all off obviously they'll be in the same facility but we'll split them right off so that's probably my idea for the next alpha but we'll see what happens with that anyway Let's just speed up to max speed because I don't think we need to keep it as is. I'm just going to have a quick look at our contraband and informants here. You see, we've got a little bit of suspicion. That guy's got tw uh, Paul Grimm has got a 21% coverage, which is quite good. I do like that. 21% coverage, 22% there for our other well, super, 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 super legendary prisoner. So we're going to have to keep an eye out for him. And uh, we've also got another one up there, obviously cop killer. Hmm. We'll just have to keep an eye on these. I do want to activate them, but only when something uh, boots off, really. I don't want to mess around too much. I'm just going to go to the infirmary here, click on the doctor, and tell the doctor to go and heal him up, because obviously we need to keep him healed. These guys have been searched, and they've got a hacksaw on them. There we go. And what else have they got on them? Doesn't look like that guy had anything else. Anything else? Found tools. Oh, I guess it was him. All right, okay. So he's going to be taken to solitary confinement, as you would expect. So let's just have a quick look at our reports here and go to our policy. Yeah, everything's on solitary and, well, for found tools, weapons, and drugs, we give them solitary. Luxuries, we just give them a bit of lockdown. We don't really need to bother with anything else. We've got three or two grants at the moment. We could get a third one. Carpentry apprenticeship, produce 10 superior beds. I'm not going to do that. I've also got another grant to get cell block C. I'm just going to get the grant just to give me a bit of money. I might as well. I'm not really going to do it at all, really. But uh, might as well, you know, get it to get a bit more money to put the flooring in. Just have a quick look. There's a couple of interest in the carpentry and the kitchen health and safety, but we're not going to do that, so there's no point. There's also a supply for narcotics and luxuries. I want to see where they're coming in. Let's just have a quick look at our contraband. Over the last 24 hours, we can see that drugs were smuggled in there. There's some poison which was stolen from the infirmary. There's a needle which was stolen. Oh, hang on. This is interesting. That is a needle that was thrown in. Some drugs that were stolen and and some poison that was stolen as well from in there. That's weird. Uh, there's some booze that was carried around half of the <laughs> northern coastline. Uh, what else have we got? We got uh, poison stolen. I think our main... Oh, we found a tunnel, have we? No. There's a, there's a possible tunnel there. There is a possible tunnel. Right, what I'm going to do... I'm going to search this entire cell block because the only place it can come from is here and then up, unless it's coming from there and up. But this might, this area around here might be, this might be a fake one. That actually might be a fake one, that one, because the dogs don't always do it. So he's going to patrol back over, and if he smells something again, then he'll have a little little dig on the ground. But that is one flag, as you can see. So that could be. That could be a tunnel. The only person that could dig it, though, is this guy in this area here. If he hasn't dug it, if we can't, if we can't find it in the area around here, I'm going to search this prison, uh, this this area here as well. Why has that guy got cuffs on him? I don't know why that guy's got <laughs> cuffs on him. Hmm. Anyway, don't think it's around here unless we search this toilet. We're going to move the toilet, and if that toilet is, if we've got a tunnel, then we know there's going to be a problem. No. Interesting. 
Okay. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to search this cell block then, so I'll just uh, search cell block. We'll search that entire cell block and speed up to max speed once more. I don't know what could be in there that would be... Um, I don't know I don't know where that tunnel would be. That is just a flag to say that there might be one. We found some drugs on them, so again, I think if I go to my contraband and 24 hours... Yeah, it was stolen from the infirmary. The, the infirmary is the, the leak, basically, but I don't know how to shut it down because we need... We need clear access to it, so I don't know what to do because the prop, the prop. Oh, looks like we can't even find that tunnel. I think it's just a fake one. The dogs do do. The dogs do have fake ones. They do just you know go. Oh yeah, I'll scratch on the ground because I'm a dog. You know, well they don't tell you that. Do you understand? But you, you know, the dogs will just scratch on the ground because they can. You know, they're dogs. They like to dig and such. But yeah, they could have smelled like a bone that was hidden under there in you know the Jurassic era or whatever. Mmm, T-Rex bone. Dig away. Can't find it. Keep going. But we think it's a tunnel. Who knows? Anyway, back to this area here. We need to finish off the look of the cell blocks, like so. There we go. And then we'll go up and we'll sort the ones at the top. But yeah, going back to the infirmary, I'm not exactly sure what I can do about that. See, it not it isn't staff only because you can't have it staff only. If you have it staff only that no one's ever going to go there, are they? So that's just that just doesn't pan out. If you have is the dog barking again? Yeah. Uh, if you have um I'm just going to send one of the doctors over there actually and Tell them to medic up. Yes, so if you have it staff only, then people can't go there. If I have the pharmacological drug treatment, which I do have, I want you to go in there and heal him up, please. I'll force that door open for you. Yeah, we, uh, you know, you have to let them in, so there's nothing else you can really do. Why is that guy booting off? He's shouting for freedom, but he shouldn't be a fathead in the first place. Right, danger level is increasing. I want to know why. Let's have a quick look here. It's got a needs, it's hygiene needs. Going down. Family and recreation's going down. Food is still there, so that's still going up, and I'm a bit worried actually. We're gonna have a riot in our hands any second, you know. That guy's got eat need. There's already a riot somewhere. Yeah, I have a feeling it's in there. There it is. There's the riot. So, well, it's not a riot, you understand, but still, it's it's close to it. Looks like I've stopped that person now, unconscious. There we go. What? What the hell? One death? What on earth happened there? Why is he dead? What the hell? What? Volatile? He's, uh, yeah, okay, I understand the volatile. He's going to kick off for no warning whatsoever, which he did, to be fair. Then he got killed. Wow. I have no idea how that why that happened. That is really weird. Did the dog just keep attacking? I have no idea. You might want to move the body though, to be fair, Jens. I'm going to shift that. Or wow. I tell you what, since the last patch, it isn't. It doesn't have to make the game more interesting. <laughs> more things happen. Right. Let's put in some flying around here. We're going to use. Oh, actually, I wanted. I don't want to use. Oh, good grief! There's another fight. Where is it? It is... Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> it is Alex Ostler. The same one. It's always him. Every time he's going to boot off. And he, yeah, it's the same person every time. Anyway, you can see they're all eating a bit of bacon here. Is everything going well for them? Yes, it is. I need to just check my reports here. And I want to check on... Yeah, my meal variety is medium. Everything's medium. I think I can get away with just keeping that. I did put the uh, the variety higher before, but no, it's okay as it is. And I really do like the way that everything functions with the with with one big long six hour stint of cooking, because that's what we've got. So that does function well. Excellent. Anyway, materials, melt flour, and we'll put melt flour in. We'll be a bit of a maverick here. We'll do it. Uh, Top to bottom and then go down. A lot of comments regarding these cell blocks still. People saying that they do like the look of them, although they're not that efficient. Uh, I don't really know how what else I could do to make them more efficient. I guess I could shrink them down so we don't have a three walkway in the center. I guess you're right on that, Mark. But other than that, I think these are I think they're fairly efficient, to be fair. <laughs> right. Let's just go down here. And we're going to finish this off. Looks like we're finding some more 
items. There we go. I need to put in some, I think, ceramic floor because I do like the look of ceramic floor around the morgue and around here. We'll go for a nice bit of, I think, wooden floor for that area there. And then, you know what? Just to complement the room opposite, I'm going to use a... I'm going to use a uh, white tiles around here so it, it matches up with the canteen. Good grief, I'm not now I've now just become an interior designer. Anyway, what should we have in the room that doesn't have a purpose? So we're just gonna put marble tiles in there. Just because we can. <laughs> just marble tiles, yeah, just nice marble tiles, just lay them. No problem. We don't really have any there's no real purpose for them, but uh, yeah, we've got them in there anyway. So is that all of the construction? It's certainly all of the floor, and I can't really see any other... I don't, I don't think there's anything else we really need to put in. Looks like people are getting scanned constantly here. Now, one thing that people mentioned that I do have a weakness, that I do have a weakness in, a chink in my armour here, is that they get scanned when they go through these metal detectors. However, they get scanned here, they can come in here, stuff can be brought into visitation, and then they can sneak it around here. So that's not good. So what I'm going to do, put a metal detector there. Which I was always going to do anywhere. I'm going to put one... Oh, I don't need to put one on the other side anywhere because... Well, we don't. We don't need to put one there. It should be fine. Right. That should be all the metal detectors in. Don't really need any more. I believe everything else is really planned off. We're receiving 525 generic units of currency per day. 60 prisoners of a maximum of 76, although that isn't our... T that isn't our exact maximum because of the way we've got the setup of these two end blocks as well. So, generally, it's... It is right. It is correct, but... Um, yeah. It's... it's yeah, we, we can have up to 76, but ideally you don't want that. But I think that'll be about it. I could go to my contraband and just check our informants here. We want to activate... Do you want to activate one of them? I do want to activate one of them, but they're currently doing a bit of the old lifting on there. But where they're going to go now... I do want to activate one of my CIs, but I don't know... Is that guy just gone back to his cell and then now he's just wandering over here oh, to make a phone call? I do want to activate one of my CIs, but I don't know which one. Uh, obviously, we don't want to really activate him because he's constantly kicking off. So, yeah, we'll see about that. Anyway, I think I will leave it there. I don't think I really need to do anything else. This prison is done and done. It sort of functions, but I, again, with the with the latest update, with uh, Alpha 25, it does, uh, you know, I think I think it's just generally improved. It just, it's more fun to play. It's less robotic, it's less aut automated. You have to, actually, I've just realised there isn't, there isn't bits that I've fully finished. I need to put in some flooring in here. Oh, cancel that one, cancel that. Cancel that. Put wooden floor in there, I think. Uh, yeah, we, we haven't exactly got, um... We, we we haven't exactly got a automated um, way of doing things now. I mean, we can you know we can set things going and hope for the best, but things will still boot off uh, for for randomness. You know, just for whatever reason that the you know the computer decides to fling at us. You know, for different prisoners with volatile and things like that. So it, it does liven it up. Oh, good grief! There's another fight. See what I mean? See what I mean? This guy here. Yeah, that guy's not lasting long. Tazed. Uh, <laughs> what's his? What's his character? Let's have a quick look. We don't know. He, does he have a reputation? We'll go to our deployment. No. Contraband. Informants. He does have a reputation, but we don't know what it is. Interesting. Anyway, we're leaving it there. As always, thank you very much for watching on this series. I have linked the save file for this alpha prison in the description below. You can download it and feel free to demolish the prison, add onto it, build it, share it with other people, upload it to Steam Workshop, pretty much do whatever you want with it. The only thing that I request is if you do share it or upload it anywhere else, please make sure that you put me as the original creator of the map and give a link to my YouTube channel. So, looks like Matt's getting his face punched in and the guards knocking him out there. I get, oh, it's pretty good that... Uh, We've got a quick response, as you can see. And there's a taser there as well. <laughs> anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching. Next Alpha series, I don't know. I'll have to make a decision on that one. I'll probably ask in a different video when I do the Fight Club, which there will be a Fight Club for this one as well. There are always is for these. As always, thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.